Arg matey, welcome back guys. I'm not gonna lie, man. Wait, what the heck do I have? I have a water bottle in my hand, bro. All right, anyway, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of tired, man. I'm kind of out of it today, man. I was supposed to be bulk recording for this channel so you guys can get new videos every single day, but boy, I have been out of it. So we'll try our best, but uh, you, you guys know the drill, man. Drop a like, motivate your boy, Mr. Schwoll on the video. And uh, let's check out our inventory. So we got a water bottle in our inventory. We have mounts, other stuff in here. Uh, then we have a shop. We have a shop with a bunch of game passes that are, okay, pretty average prices. We also have boosts. Oh my God, they have a bunch of boosts. We have cash and then gems. Lastly, we have this like upgrade section. Uh, and apparently you can buy upgrades with bow bucks as well. How much are they with bow bucks? Okay, a hundred, that's pretty expensive. All right, anyway, whatever. So we have a water bottle. By the way, guys, in today's video, we're gonna play Trick Shot Simulator. So I'm assuming we have to get the water bottle uh, in here. Oh, I got that, boy! <laughs> Just wanna remind you guys to subscribe to the channel real quick and to turn on those post notifications so you're notified of all my uploads. Can you guys go ahead and read that text that's on screen right now? You swore that you would like the video, and now you have to do it, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm gonna catch you later. Yo, I'm nasty with it. All right, so it seems that, yeah, there you go. This is how you play the game. You just gotta get stuff onto the platforms or whatever the case is now yo i am just killing it man y'all see this bro y'all seeing this bro? oh my goodness gracious all right so we got some cash now we have enough to upgrade stuff so let's go ahead and buy um i'm not gonna lie, i don't really need distance i want walk speed though for sure i want walk speed and then item speed i guess i don't know all right cool so wait i think maybe the game wanted me to Oh my god, I'm so nasty, boy. I'm getting that thing smacked into Santa cousin. All right, bada boop, bada beep, all right? So I don't know if the game wanted me to buy the distance. Yeah, it wanted me to buy distance for some reason. But now that I bought that, why is it not telling me to go somewhere else, right? Okay, well, anyway, hold on. We're gonna go ahead and check out the rest of the map. They apparently have an items index over here so we can see what items we have. We have like, wait. How are, how are these items? We have a backyard and a school. Oh, wait, no. Backyard is the area we're in probably right now. We have like a bunch of items that we can get. And then the school area, these are items, so on and so forth. Okay, so there's a whole lot of areas. There's a whole lot of trick shots and tricks that you're going to be able to do in this game, which is really cool. We have daily rewards that we can claim. Let's claim that for the first day. We have group rewards. We have VIP rewards. Okay. And they also have a mount that you can buy. We have a paper airplane. These cost gems. We have 11 already. So maybe we can buy some mounts pretty soon. Now they also have a mounts index system here, which is pretty dope. Not bad. I'm still waiting to see where's the area for you to use codes, man. How do I do that? Oh, look, they also have a teleport cannon over here. So these are all the areas. Wow, they have a lot of areas, dude. All right, that's crazy. Oh, look, the previous called gems for all. But I really, I don't know, I'm not understanding where we use the codes at. By the way, here are two other codes you can use in the game, guys. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell, but in the top left, they have a settings uh, button. So I don't even know. They say they have a music button, but that's not even working. So, oh, they have auto shoot. What the heck? You can buy auto shoot? Okay, I'll buy that. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Does it automatically get everything on point? So anyway, uh, codes. Remember, the last one was gems for all. Let's see if that even still works. All right, yeah, we got 25 gems. Not bad. So I also managed to find one more code. I'm going to show you guys. It's called um, gem day. Oh, that one works too. So make sure you use that one, guys. All right, so let's check out this auto launch or auto whatever the heck it was called. Game pass that I just bought. Um, let's see if I, oh my Lord, I think, yeah, it automatically just gets it right. Should I say every single time? So yeah, I mean, y'all, y'all seeing this, right? <laughs> well, what the hell? Isn't this game pass like the best one they got? Like what? Normally game passes are good, but this game pass just like makes you beat the game. I don't know. All right. So they have a, wow. Look at that. Wow. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> this game pass is OP. This is the best one you it, possibly it might be the only one that you need to buy, right? So yeah, we pretty much got the game on autopilot now, but they seem to have like different little mini games that you can try with the bottle to attempt to unlock the next area. Oh look, they're actually telling us already to buy the next area, which is the backyard. So but then again, I don't know because it says 2400 over there. So oh the backyard. This is an egg. I mean, uh a summoning thing majiggy so let's auto open thankfully i don't have to buy auto open so this will happen by itself but oh never mind i only have enough to buy one pet so let's see we have a red frisbee 
so the items that you get from here are items that you can use i thought they were gonna be like pets whatever the case is um and i don't even know what is that a bowling ball i think some of the rarest things you can get out of here are bowling balls they even have a drink <laughs> what the heck let's see how this works so you just throw the frisbee on there yeah that's how that works i'm gonna be honest i, I really 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 want to pay to win really badly but I don't know. I, I don't know if you guys might dig this type of content on the channel. And since we just started this channel, I'm kind of losing money every time I spend money in a game. So I don't know if I should go full pay to win or just buy really what's most necessary. That way the video isn't like extremely boring. But yeah, I'll just try to figure out what the best combination of game passes is. I'm definitely going to buy boosts to make everything go by a lot quicker but yeah we're doing pretty good so far matter of fact i take it back i'm not buying boost because boost pretty much costs is the same as game passes what i don't know why uh these roblox games now are doing that like they're making boost cost just as much as game passes like what the heck is that a way to make you spend money on game passes and not not, not the boost i don't know okay so i think the best items to get guys is the double shoot which allows you to shoot two items at the same time and then the two times cash so i think that's gonna make the game as easy as it can be for us and now with that being said i'm gonna buy a couple of upgrades here so i guess i can go ahead and buy like some walk speed i'll buy some item speed and we're gonna try to buy our first mount now since we have 72 gems so we'll check out what the mounts are let's see uh, can i buy the jetpack yeah i can buy the jetpack so i'd rather buy the jetpack actually maybe i should save guys but uh, i, I kind of really want the jetpack whatever i'm gonna buy the jetpack <laughs> we can just buy gems of anything you know they're not really that crazy expensive so all right we have um the jetpack equipped we press the q key to use it there you go so we're moving around a little bit quicker now whoa what is that guy doing he's like kicking from all the way over here and he's kicking a pizza box that's crazy well i'm supposed to be shooting two items right i don't know if i am it doesn't really seem like i am maybe i gotta equip both of them oh yeah, you equip both the items. <laughs> I'm shooting a water bottle and a frisbee, guys. What the heck? Well, progress is pretty quick and pretty easy. So definitely, I think we made the best choice for the game pass combination. So, I mean, yeah, you guys pretty much can tell what you should do if you play the game. You know, because some games, you got to buy all the game passes to really be paid to win. But in this game, you don't have to, as you can tell. So... All right, we unlocked a new area. We have a couple of different mini games here. Let's see if you always get the same rewards. I'm getting like 40 and 31 cash. There you go. Yeah, 31 cash every time. Let's go ahead and select, I don't know, this thing over here. Am I going to get the same amount of cash or? Oh, we're getting 25 here, actually. Okay. Well, I guess not. Actually, guys, uh, the further away you are from the trick shot you're trying to do uh the more cash you earn so yeah that's what was going on all right well let's try to go ahead and spin for some other items here right it only costs 800 so we should be able to get like i think four or five items at the very least okay we got our first uncommon which is nice it was a target sign and oh the shuriken oh my god oh okay we got a freaking waves jug not bad oh, i would have been so lit man if we got the shuriken that would have been so nice and i think now might be the chance oh the, oh come on man they really did that to me man all right well at least i got another rare i'm assuming yep there we go we got noodle come on ah uh, all right i'm gonna stop it here i'm not gonna get the the shuriken which is fine though so I automatically equip my new two best items which is dope you could just click um best to equip the best ones you can also trade in this game which is pretty nice i'm surprised nobody has requested to trade me because typically pe people will go crazy with like requesting trades when they see the end whoa whoa what's going on here why what oh okay my items were not equipped for some reason all right well i think my items are too big <laughs> to be able to successfully complete that thing over there so i'm gonna have to yeah just do this trick shot here but yeah when people notice i'm a star crow creator they go crazy trying to trade me which is surprising that they haven't done that in this game all right well i have enough cash now to open up the next area guys so we're gonna buy it uh this seems to be like a school grounds and i keep forgetting to claim these rewards here but they give you cash so that's pretty nice it would have been nice if the rewards in this game gave you boosts oh and i actually have enough cash to automatically open a couple of these items already <gasps> Oh, oh, come on, man. Yo, I keep getting so close to getting the legendary item. And I keep I, I keep thinking I'm going to get it, but then it just tricks me, man. Oh, my gosh. All right, we got a fade jug, which is a rare item. And I think we're going to get a crystal this time around. Nice. We got the two rares, which is dope. And I ran out of cash, so that's convenient. Automatically equip our next two best items. Apparently, okay, so the epic is better than the rare. I, I But I don't know why. I, I felt like blue should be rare and then epic should be red, right? It feels like... 
our red item is gonna be rarer. Oh, they actually have a fuse machine here, guys. What, what happens when you fuse items? I guess fusing just makes the multipliers go up, as you can tell. Okay. So what if I fuse like my two my two water jugs? Well, actually, what if I fuse all these things together? Let's see. Yes, let's fuse them. You got a new crystal frisbee. So is the new crystal frisbee better than? Oh yes, indeed, it is way better than the other item that I had before. Okay. Pretty nice. So we need 16,000 cash for the next area down over there, guys. I think I'm going to stick to... Yo, you know what? I actually have not been doing upgrades. So maybe I should do a couple of upgrades after we get a decent amount of cash over here. And for some reason, I'm only using one of my items. I, I don't know. This game's kind of like... Oh, never mind. I was going to say this game's kind of laggy and glitchy, but it, it's really not the game's fault. <laughs> I just didn't have the items equipped. So it definitely did not take as long to get to the next area at all. In fact, I think it was a little bit too easy. So... I'm just gonna go to the next area and then we'll try to go back because I just remember we don't have a fast way to get back to the spawn area. Like we definitely, yo, this looks like Ikea, <laughs> right? Well, we have a lot of mini games that we can do in this area over here. I don't know. Let's try this mini game here. This is a pretty decent amount of cash, but bro, I'm telling you, we gotta like get like better distance. I think distance is the best thing for you to get. Like forget walk speed and whatever the other upgrade is. Let's see if I can just reset. Oh, I can't reset. I have to manually walk back there. All right, that's this This kind of sucks too. Oh, actually you don't have to manually walk back there. You can just, you know, click the little upgrade button. But yeah, distance seems to be the best thing guys. Distance and maybe arguably um, item speed. Walk speed doesn't seem to be too important to me anymore. I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna buy, ah, oh, dang, I should have just bought the teleport first, but maybe. I can quickly get this cash. Oh my gosh, guys, what? <laughs> Whoa, are you guys seeing this? I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Yeah, 100,000%. It seems that distance is just the best thing to get. All right, so let's go to, I think we were at uh, furniture, right? But then what happens if you buy something you haven't unlocked? Can I just, oh yeah, you haven't unlocked the restaurant area. There you go. But listen, man, the game's talking about rebirths. If you guys look at the right hand corner, right? From rebirths one times, but how do you even rebirth? I don't get that, right? But hold on, let, let me just get a couple more distance upgrades, man. Cause wow, this is very OP. We'll even get like item speed up as well. Why not? Okay. I got a really good amount of upgrades now, guys. So I think we're good to go. All right. So let's go to the furniture area. And just like this kid over here, I should be able to just, oh my God. Yep. The same distance. And we are now getting a crazy amount of cash. We only needed 28,800 cash to get to the next area. So I'm just going to speed through the areas, guys. And then... Look, I think I can even do this mini game. Yeah, I can do this mini game from being all the way over here. That's crazy to me, man. Look at that. So yeah, I'm just going to focus on going through the areas since getting cash is so easy for me now. And we'll just do that. So let me buy the next area. We won't really try to get new pets. I mean, new items for us to use for the time being. It seems that like we can go ahead and select this thing here. So let's try to. Yeah, there you go. Guys, I just got here and I already have enough cash to buy the next area. <laughs> like I'm telling you, if you guys have yet to play this game or even if you play this game bro just buy the stuff that i bought if you have money to buy it and i mean you guys see like you'll just instantaneously win okay so we have the next area unlocked we just got to get 62,000 cash here which is gonna take us literally no time at all and obviously we now unlock the next area i'm trying to tell y'all man this is so quick i think i'm gonna get to the max i mean excuse me max best area literally in no time let's see yep Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Yo, it goes by so quickly. We only need 84,000 cash here, and we already have 24,000 just about. So I'll catch you guys when I'm able to unlock this area as well. Okay, and here we go. We bought the next area. So apparently, this is the gas station. It would be nice if we can buy cars. Maybe we can throw cars here. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> I was going to say, imagine that. Imagine if this area you could throw the cars. Okay, so I think in this area for sure, I'm going to start to try to get new items to throw because i feel like um it's about time that we get a, a little bit of a better multiplier for the cash that we're getting that way it'll make things a lot quicker so remember guys we're getting 520 to 544 cash when there's like a bonus available so we want to be getting at least like i don't know maybe triple quadruple that so let's go ahead and auto open a couple of times here and i'll keep you guys posted with the items that i get oh we got whew, almost lucky we're so close to getting the trophy man all right Getting rares is obviously not a problem for us, though. And it's time. There we go. We got our first legendary item, baby. And that was actually our last item that we could use. Wow. Yeah, 17.8 and 17.2 multipliers for cash here. That's insane. Okay, so let's see how much cash we'll get. 
Um, wow, okay, my chalice is just falling out of my hands and not going anywhere. Let's see. All right. What the heck? The chalice is like not going well. Whoa, what the heck? What's going on here? Why why is my chalice being thrown so far away? Okay, I don't know. Let's select this thing here. Whoa, what the heck? All right. Whoa, what the Why is it throwing my chalice so far away? But then my other item, it, it, it it's like right on point every time. Like, do I gotta like I don't know, like unequip it? How do I even unequip it? They only have a trash can button. What what do you what happens if you do that? I don't know, delete item. What just happened? Okay, I don't know. My game is like glitching out right now, guys. Hold on. Let me let me buy some uh some upgrades here. I'm gonna focus on item speed this time around. And let's let's click here. What why is the chalice being thrown so far? Okay, so even though I got the chalice, I think I'm not gonna be able to use it. But I mean I cannot equip it or unequip it, excuse me. I don't know why. I can only oh there it goes. So let's try this again now. Oh, okay, now it's working. So I don't know. Maybe you need to have the same type of item, and that's the only way you'll automatically get it to be perfect every time. Because I'm telling you, man, like <laughs> that combination we had was not it. It was not working. Okay, guys, so I'm back at the gas station, right? I think we only have two more areas to go in order to reach the last area on this game because I looked at the teleporter menu and it only showed only two more areas. So we'll see. But things are definitely a lot quicker thanks to the new upgrades and new items that we have. I think I'm just going to stick with these items all the way through until we get to the last area. Okay, so this next area here, I don't even know what this... Oh, it's an airport. Okay. Well, the airport only seems to have one trick shot area, which is kind of a letdown. But I mean, not really a letdown because... I'll be honest with you. Y'all guys noticed how I wasn't really doing any other trick shot <laughs> outside of the one that I started using. I only change it up in the gas station because i saw my chalice was being thrown way too far but yeah i guess it was a good choice for them to just make one trick shot area per world starting with the airport area i would assume but all right guys there you go our next area is now available for us to unlock so that is going to be the beach area so we'll buy this oh actually they had a, a trash can oh okay so but anyway here we go this is the beach area Oh, it does seem to have another area. So why did the teleporter only say, oh, rebirthing? Oh, so I guess you rebirth at the last area and that's how you effectively play this game. But all right, let's see. Not bad. So we're getting, you know, a thousand, a thousand and seven cash per toss here. But how much does rebirthing cost? Is it free? Do you just walk by? We also have the, the beach egg here that we can summon on, guys. I'm not going to bother because rebirthing effectively is going to reset everything, right? Let's check this out. Rebirth. Um, okay, it costs 136,000 cash. You get 50 gems, one rebirth, and then a 1.2 times multiplier to cash. So you basically get 0.2 times more cash when you rebirth which I don't know if it's a really, really good thing or what, but I guess, hey, it's something, right? All right, look, guys, I will say it is fun to be able to auto shoot and have that as a game pass, but I, I do think it ruins. Dude, I don't even think it matters. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, it does matter. So, but yeah, anyway, I, I do think it, it ruins kind of like the fun factor of the game, which is just trying to get the right meter to make your items go through the, the trick shot area. Um... So just be aware of that if you buy that game pass because, you know, I feel like it makes the game like just have no point at that point. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and rebirth, see what happens. All right, there we go. Yeah, all our items get reset. Um, we don't lose our jetpack or mount at all. We do have 99 gems now, so we can buy another mount. Um, that's going to be like the hoverboard. Actually, we don't even have enough for the hoverboards. <laughs> it whips a daisy. Now, does everything? Yeah, everything gets reset. That is crazy. Now, if you guys notice, um, oh, somebody took the bonus from us. But we have one of this pot currency, whatever that is. Uh, there you go. We got the bonus. So I'm not sure what that is used for, but that's like, uh, seems like something that you can use for something. <laughs> I, I don't even know, guys. I'm sorry. All right, there you go. I think... Was it 101 or 102 that I needed for the new mount? Because I, I I got 101 gems now. So hoverboard, 102. God dang it. All right. I'm going to try a little bit more here to get this hoverboard. All right, there you go. We've got 102 gems. So let me go get this hoverboard now. I'm really just curious to see how this looks. So, all right, we got our mount. Uh, it's automatically equipped. Press the Q key. Ah, uh, and it does not look as cool as I thought it would look. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to sum this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Trick Shot Simulator on Roblox, and we became the best trick shotter. More like, you know, the game just played itself for me because of the game passes that I bought. But whatever, we became swole. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'm going to catch y'all later. Thanks so much for watching. Much love.